What is up boys and girls and welcome back to Outboy like always here on youtube.com slash me now by more Dark Souls 3 content for you guys. Last time we went through Lothric Castle ah, and uh, we... Tiny slab? Do I really want to use my slab on the claymore? I don't know. Probably not would be my guess. Pretty I don't know. I'll keep it at plus nine. Um, wait, Grey Rat should be gone. Um, last time I went through Lothar Castle and we cleared out the dragon, uh, which is really nice, because and we opened up a shortcut. So we'll be able to proceed pretty easily into Lothar Castle from this episode forward. Um, let's go talk to Patches. See what he has to say about Grey Rat leaving again. I'm guessing Grey Rat and Patches' uh, quest, or, like, quest line are kind of interconnected. Hey, what happened to Grey Rat anyhow? I haven't seen him at all lately. But if you know where he's scurried off to, be sure and tell me. Now, I need to stock up, and if he's gone and croaked, he'll have left a gold mine. <laughs> <laughs> off to Lothric, the castle of no return. That old thief's lost it if he thinks he has a chance in there. But it's not like he's new to this game. What's got him deep? He made a friend? That old thief. He's really lost it this time. Alright, well, I told Patches. Now, whether it was the right thing or the wrong thing to tell Patches, I have no idea. But I'm hoping it was a good thing. I'm hoping that Patches will help him and not end up kind of uh, killing him. That was my fear last time, so... I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, so, back to the Dragon Barracks. Once we came from where went from once we where came what and um oh I should have burned the freaking ashes so then I would have been plus five oh well whatever I've been doing fine without like ridiculously healing essences I guess. I still don't know what happened to that dragon, man. I killed one of those black things on its foot. And after I killed it, it just disappeared. Which I found kind of weird. Ah, uh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking sorcerer. Oh, God. Alright. Okay, I, w I don't know if that's lightning or if that's magic. I'm guessing it's lightning. Fuck. <laughs> you should have killed me there. That was your chance, bud. You're not going to get another one like that. I told you that much. Fucking frame drops, man. There you go. Wait, what? You summoned another one? Wait, you summoned? Wait, what? Large side knight. Did she summon another one of... Like, that sorcerer came from the floor, right? Wasn't just me? I wasn't just imagining things? I'm not crazy, am I? <laughs> There you go. Suck it. Weapon arts. The only one I use is uh, that that guard break one. Because it's, it's the most useful. The other one that's supposed to like toss him in the air doesn't really work. So, I don't know. Is there anything over here? I mean, I just killed that knight for no reason, to be honest. There's nothing over on that other side. But there's something on this side, and it's an ember. I mean, embers are nice, but they're not fantastic either. I believe there's another... Oh, the one that was up here was the one that fought me down there. Okay, we're up here last time. We got that item, as you could tell. Um, and we could have dropped down on this side, but we decided not to. Yeah, 
Now, I have no idea what that statue is supposed to signify. We've been seeing it a lot. I mean, a, a theme that's running through this castle is just kind of like sacrificial, you know, like sacrificing oneself, beheading yourself, these beheaded knights, you know, kind of, uh, I don't know, for me it symbolizes them sacrificing themselves for whatever, you know? Um, now there is a fog wall, sunlight metal, and an elevator. Now there is a uh, fog wall there, which I'm guessing is going to lead to a boss. I mean, that would be my guess. I don't think it's a bad guess either. Wow, we're going pretty far down. I'm, I'm looking around to see if there's maybe like an area where I could... Uh... Oh, I know where this is. It's like in the beginning. Those frame drops, man. I'm about to restart my computer after this. Um, what was I saying? Sorry for the sniffling too. My my nose is like running a lot, more than usual. Um, but I know where that shortcut is, and I believe that's the first bonfire, right? Like right when you enter Lothar Castle. So, and that that'll be a shortcut to the boss. All right. I'm pretty glad I was able to unlock that. There is a ladder going upward. What? Okay, I could kill this dragon? That's a lot of damage. Ow. Am I gonna get cursed? Relax. Oh, okay. Let's get our fireball or our. That's a curse. I'm kind of scared of getting cursed. I kind of want my curse meter to go down before I do anything. What's this? Braille Divine Tone of Lotheric. Alright. That should be a key item that we could give to the cleric, I'm guessing. Sacred Braille Tome from Lothric, filled with miracles for use by knights. Give to a storyteller to learn Lothric's miracles. It is said that no paladin inside Lothric Castle could fall, owing the divine protection they enjoyed. Alright, well my curse meter is basically all the way down. Uh, is there anything else up here? Nope. Um, unless I start hitting walls and there's a secret. Which I am going to hit like every fucking wall. Oh, there's a chest I missed. Oh, it's a mimic. At least this is the ones that stand up. I quite enjoy these a lot more than uh, the ones that are on the floor. Oh god, those iframes. Don't fucking try kicking me. Alright, what do you have for me? Sunlight Straight Sword. Sunbro? Straight sword imbued with the strength of lightning. This featureless long sword contained a very contains the very power of the sun. Perhaps is ugh. where the hell did it go? Uh, perhaps it is a relic of one side one sided adoration. Oath of sunlight. I keep pushing these damn, um, like, triggers on my PS4 controller, and they're so easy to press that if I, like, even kind of touch anything... Shut the hell up. Alright, two hits, and I'm out. Oh, god. There we go. One, two, and I'm out. Let's uh, S this up. There's no reason not to. And... There we go. And the dragon's gonna disappear? It does. Tainite chunk and ember. Large Tainite. I have no idea what that means. Soul of a Crestfallen. Alright, well... 
there goes both dragons, I guess. Um, 53,000 souls. Nothing to sneeze at, I suppose. Um, which way am I going? I was heading this way. Oh yeah, I was I was I was near the boss the boss uh, door, and I decided to explore a little bit. Uh, there was a ladder. Did we climb that ladder? I don't think so. I think instead we dropped down. So let's go back. All right. So there's that. We came over here. I think this is where we dropped down from. I was like, there's this empty kind of wall here, and that's where I dropped down to kill the 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 dragon, uh, the pseudo dragon, I I suppose. Now I kind of want to climb this ladder and see what's up here. Um, kind of scared of falling, huh? There's an item over here. Tiny night chunk. Okay. Let's uh yeah, let's, let's lure this guy over here. Let's switch to our S's that way when we need it, we can actually uh you know change back to it. We're gonna go three hits and back up because we are probably gonna get hit with uh, one of those stupid crossbow shots. There you go. One, two, and you're done. Now we can go deal with the crossbow guys. Ow. Okay. Congrats. I'm being annoying. You succeeded. Uh, we'll S this up. And we'll continue on. Onward. What is this? Secret wall. Secret window. Alright. Well, I guess the way to go down is that ladder, so... Let's go ahead. So they just made this area to go around for no reason? Like, there's no item, no... Huh. Alright. All right, seems like there's nothing down here. I'm surprised we didn't get to like uh, go to Duke's archives. Night ring, knight's ring. Um, increased strength. Uh, ba ba ba. Ring engraved with the portrait of a knight increases strength. In Lothric, the knight has been long considered one of the three pillars of the king's rule, and were thus Allowed to rear dragons. So it increases your strength. It goes from 30 to 35, which is actually pretty damn good. Uh, but I think my other rings might be better. I mean, the only thing I would probably consider trading that for is um, my SS ring. I mean, if you think about it, you know, 5 strength, that equals 5 levels that you're getting for free, basically. Which is actually quite a lot, like, no joke. Hello. Hello, Mozo. Too bad, man. Try again next time. Try again next time. I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna overcommit. That was kind of a trade I didn't want to happen, but it worked out in my favor, so. Sunlight. Sunlight bro. Holy crap. Tynite skill. Alright. Oh. My god. I honestly didn't even think that. I honestly didn't think we were ever gonna see the altar of sunlight. Huh. I mean, I am a sun bro. 
And we have found Sunlight Blade here. Now, the the place that we the place that we found that in Dark Souls 1 was Where did we find that? We found that Undead Berg more or less. What the fuck is that? That's behind the boss wall. That's kind of scary. I'm not going to lie. That kind of terrifies me a little bit. Um, Let's keep exploring a little bit more. I do have a lot of souls. And before we do fight that boss, I will want to... Hey, look who it is. Um, before I fight that boss, I will want to to try using my souls. Rusted coin. Tynite skill. This gave me some nostalgia, but I'm not sure to what. Contraption does not move. Contraption does not move. Okay, so I'm guessing you have to unlock it from the bottom. And there'll be a shortcut to the bottom, wherever the bottom is, I guess. Red tear stone ring. Red tear stone. Boost attack when HP is low. The stone is said to be a tear of mourning of the goddess Kaitha. And of course, tears are always more beautiful near death. Huh. Can we see the boss from here? The one that we're going to fight? Oh, wait. There's actually... Oh, that's how you get that. Ow. Alright. Is there anything on this side? No, that looks like a bunch of death. Death and destruction. Mega death. Hangar 13. Other rock references. Insert here. Katha's Chime. Sacred Chime blessed by Katha, goddess of tears, rare even amongst Kareem clerics. Af affected by intelligence, a rare thing for miracle catalysts, and also agreeable with miracles that lean toward the dark. Its existence is concealed by the name of the Archbishop, as it is anathema? Huh. So, chimes are used to use miracles, but this one, this kata chime, has a correlation with dark. It also agreeable with miracles that lean towards the dark. Huh. What's up with that? You see this, right? There is something uh, really wrong with this. Um, and I think from here... Instead of uh, going back and fighting all these guys, we're actually going to use a Homeward Bone to go back to the bonfire at Firelink. And uh, we're going to do a couple things here. Alright, so the first thing I want to do with these souls is probably level up. But at the same time, I kind of want to finish buying like all the armor this merchant is selling. Kind of do, not going to lie. Oh, there goes all my souls. All right. That's fine. I'll get them back eventually. <laughs> and I... Do I not have this? I don't think so. Hmm. Is there anything else I want? Uh, maybe Homeward Bones? I have five. Uh, it's not, I'm not in dire need of them, I guess. All right. Now, now that that's done... I actually want to try to reinforce my shield. I know, right? It's crazy that 
I'm trying to reinforce something. Oh, Twinkling Tynite, though. Do all these take Twinkling Tynite? Huh. This has burst ability. Oh, well. That's different. Yeah, it seems like all the... All these uh, mid shields are, take Twinkling Tynite to upgrade, which is I think is kind of bizarre in a way. Um, hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna have to think about that. Um, next up is okay. I don't think I can level with nine thousand souls. <laughs> so forget about leveling. Um, how about we sit down at the bonfire? We'll uh, burn this bone shard to give our essence a little bit more oomph. And then we're going to travel to Lothar Castle, where we opened up the shortcut last time. And I think it's time. It's, it's, I think it's more than time to go fight the boss, unfortunately. <laughs> and I say unfortunately because I am kind of, uh, kind of scared. Is it this way? It's not that way. Okay, actually, I was supposed to go with one bonfire before this, I believe. Yeah, so we drop down here. Well, we could go here. The bonfire that I was I wanted to go to was this one down there. But, I mean, this one I think might be quicker because we don't have to climb that damn ladder. And then from right here, just go over here to the left. And uh, I don't think the... Yeah, it's not here. Cool. I should have really uh, thought this out. Where's the night going? Uh, you want to come down here? That would be great. I hear it. They're getting closer though. All right, cool. Didn't kill me. And I'm up. Later. All right, so. Plan for the boss. Don't die. Don't get hit. Don't lose HP. Hit them a lot. Sounds good, right? Um. All right. So, that being said, I really hope that uh, I don't underperform for this boss. I really do want. I feel like I've been kind of stagnant these last couple of episodes, and I don't want to feel that way anymore. I'm putting the, the the elevator down. That way, if we die and we come back. Which hopefully we don't, but if, if we do... Actually, you know what we should do? I don't think I've gotten one summon to help me this whole time. And I kind of want this, this guy to help me. And not so much because I need the help, because I haven't even tried the boss, but... I mean, this is the first NPC summon I've used all game. Huh. And I wonder how much easier this boss is going to be with him. That shit looks fucking crazy, man. Whatever is behind this fog wall can't be good. Or I can't imagine it being good. Hello, Dragon Slayer Armor. What the fuck? Hello. Oh, God. Okay, so that's why they gave me the lightning shield. Right before this, too. Relax, homie. Relax. He's coming after me, man. He's he's going at me. Good job taking the aggro. I'm gonna get... Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit with that backswing. Oh, bitch. What? He has, like, a retaliation to stagger. Um, let's go ahead and switch shields to the great crest tree thingy. Cause just because it oh man dude you're getting fucking destroyed oh he healed he did heal what the fuck is happening like you see these fucking dra oh god I see the dragons and they're shooting shit at me oh, okay nice got staggered yeah, this boss is actually really easy, and I'm guessing most of it has to do with the fact that, uh, I'm using a summon. I mean, honestly, probably, probably wouldn't have that much trouble with this boss by myself. 
You're gonna get knocked off, bud. I see them trying to shoot shit at me. Especially that one right there. Oh, fuck. It's a beam of fucking ridiculousness. Alright, well... There's Dragon Slayer armor. Dragon Slayer armor. That that looked like Orange Scene's armor, but like much more bulky. And a little bit more terrifying, I guess. Where is your Oh, there it is. Soul of the Dragon Slayer armor. Um Don't beep outside. Use the acquired or uh, blah blah blah. The Dragon Slayer armor controlled by the Pilgrim Butterfly it lost its master long ago, but still remains their supporting but still remembers their supporting hunts. What the fuck? A butterfly? Fucking butterfly? Is that what they are? Are they butterflies? Pilgrim butterfly. Huh. Well, I'm sorry if that was like anticlimactic. I kind of think it is. Or I, I kind of think it was, I guess I should be saying. But... I don't know, that boss battle wasn't... It was awesome seeing that it was like orange scene, but it was also... Like, just whatever. Like, I don't think it was that great of a boss battle. His hacks are just normal, wide, kind of bulky hits that you could easily dodge through. I mean, I might be totally wrong. It might have been like a piece of cake because of the fact that I had a summon. And if so, then uh, obviously my opinion is not valid. But I'm just saying for my for my first experience. I mean, next time since I use the summon this time in New Game Plus, uh, when I do it, I probably won't use the summon, and it'll be twice as hard, and it'll probably kick my ass. So. I guess there's, there's that to look forward to. Um, now, there's this area heading down. There's these stairs heading up. And there's... Um, nothing down here. Alright. I didn't think so, but it was worth a try. Kind of want to go up here. And another... Wait, what? There's a bonfire! I can see these two bonfires! What's the, what's the point? All right, where's this bonfire? What is it called? The Grand Archives. We've heard about the Grand Archives. All right, so that's the Grand Archives. There's these statues. That is fucking creepy. That's a serpent. That looks like calf and what was the other one? Fram and calf. That looks like. Maybe the witch of Isolith? When she turned to a chaos bed? Don't know who that is. That looks like half. That looks like the serpents. I mean, their face and everything. That's the king? Maybe that's the queen? Nothing. Nothing. It's locked. Why would I have guessed otherwise? Grand Archive Keys. And got hard Twin Swords. Uh, we got a key. So that's that being key items. Key to the main entrance of the Grand Archives of Lothric. With the fire fading and the spreading pus of man tainting the castle, the Grand Archives closes doors for good. Today, only a few of these keys remain. This one likely belonged to Gotthard, one of the king's black hands, who fled the castle. Got hard. Is that the first time you've heard of him? I feel like it is. He was one of the king's black hands. Hmm. Something about like spreading darkness as well. The spreading pus of man tainting the castle. Huh. Oh. Huh. This is. This is like an actual model of a NPC. Oh, we also got his twin swords now that I think about it. 
A lot of decks required. The hunter known as the Black, the King's Black Hands wielded paired weapons. These belonged to Gotthard, who fled the castle. Gotthard rose quickly through the knighthood. No surprise to those who have witnessed his swordsmanship. So I'm guessing the Black Hands were kind of like an elite... Oh, sorry about that. Um, I think they're like an elite set of knights, maybe? <sighs> God fucking damn it. Sorry. Sorry about that. Um, I'm guessing with the key now we can open the archive? Yeah. And this is the Grand Archives. This! It's totally reminiscent of Duke's archives. Like, all these books scattered everywhere. Multi-layered. This looks fucking crazy. Alright. I'm liking this area already. Um. Now, before you move on, there was this lore area over here. And don't, don't think I forgot. There was also the king's, like, consume, the consumed king's garden. That I want to go back to as well. So we will go back there, just uh, not for the time being. So I think with this, before we enter a new area, I'll just end the episode here. It might be a little bit shorter than uh, the other ones, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, consider subscribing here to youtube.com slash for more Dark Souls 3 content. Um, hit that like button down below. It helps out a great deal. And like always, boys and girls, thanks so very much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And remember, praise the sun. Later.